Hello traders, Gary Wagner here just before 10 o'clock in Honolulu, 3 o'clock in New York on Tuesday, January 26th, 2016. And this is the daily report for gold and silver. We do have a nice rally underway. It's actually a continuation from some of the activity we have seen over the last couple of days. Gold is currently trading up about $15 on the day, $14 and change at $11.2194. $22.94 is a high, so we're just about a dollar off the high. Low today is $11.07. And as I said, we are currently up about $14, $14.5 on the day. We did send out a special trade alert early this morning. This following our recommendation yesterday that we should enter the market from the long side should we see support in the market and have this market trade and move roughly above 1110 we certainly got that today we'll talk about that as well as other markets all on today's daily report so traders first piece of business today is to go over our current active trade if you recall we talked about the fact on friday and this is friday's candle here this red candle also note that it did close below eleven $1 hundred dollars per ounce and on friday what i was looking at was a potential setup in the market should we get some sort of an effective close above 1100 yesterday we certainly got that and we made note of the fact that we had a tremendous upside rally and more importantly we had this rally close dramatically above 1100 closing roughly at about 1107 in that area and what i said was as follows first of all from yesterday's we identified a simple two-day pattern simply called an engulfing bullish that would be these two candles right in here this green candle as well as this red candle but we also stated that to really take the call on the following day and that was talking of course about today we would need to see a long green candle with a higher high and a higher low and we would also need to see it really track and trade above 1110 reason for 1110 quite simply it is these sets of highs over here that we really needed to see the market take out we certainly got that today so we do have some of our subscribers that actually took the call earlier in the morning they're in anywhere between call it 110 and 112 1110 excuse me and 1112 and now we're trading as i said roughly at 22 1122 trading up near the highs on the day but we have certainly certainly taken out this level of former resistance and traders it is because of that that i not only set out a set of trade parameters yesterday but i followed that up with a trade alert early this morning as i said traders that got in with the trade alert are in roughly roughly between 1116 and 1117 stops need to be at 1097 1097 now one of the reasons that i am having such a loose stop is we do have the fomc meeting which got underway today and depending on what kind of volatility we get if any announcement is made i can't imagine that there will be a announcement of an imminent rate hike but there could be some increased volatility and that is the rationale behind taking that stop and making it a rather loose stop so traders for our final chart that i do want to look at on today's show is going to be this daily line chart now i did send this particular line chart out with the trade alert this morning and what i really found fascinating was the fact that it absolutely appears as though we are going to break above this former resistance line right in here which is pretty much 
just a tick or so below from our current price of roughly 11.22. And then lastly, I do wanna talk about our exit strategy and where I think this market could go to and what I'm looking for. My sense is that we have a major resistance area at 11.63 and roughly just a little bit below it. You can see these lows that are sitting in here. So my initial target on this trade is to exit roughly between 11.55 and 11.65. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading. We'll talk to you tomorrow for another daily update review. Bye-bye.